Okay, so listen. We are going to do the outlier test on the cars data set now, okay? And again, the outlier test allows us to take a range of data and see if there are things that are outside of the scope of that regular range, okay? As you noticed in the cars version, that 74 or 73 was pretty close, right? It wasn't that far off, but according to the outlier test, it was an outlier, right? So it's not always just so obvious that it's just like stuck really far away on your graph, okay? So let's do it on our cars. So the first thing we wanna do is we're gonna get quartile one, we're gonna get quartile three, we're gonna get the interquartile range, and then we're gonna get the lower bound, and we're gonna get the upper bound, okay? So quartile one, we're going to type equals quartile. We are going to highlight our data set. And we're going to put comma one for quartile one. And then you hit enter and it gives you quartile one. For quartile three, we're going to do that again. We're going to do quartile. We're going to highlight our data set. And we're going to put comma three. And that gives us our quartile three. The next thing is the IQR. IQR is quartile three minus quartile one. And we can make sheets do that by hitting equals. We're gonna click on the cell that we're going to subtract first, and then we're gonna click the second cell, and it's gonna give us that piece of information. Follow me? Yes. To find our lower bound, we are going to do equals quartile one minus 1.5 times my IQR. Okay, that's my lower bound. So that is, I can write that over here, hold on. Uh, let's move this a little bit over here. I'm going to put this here. Okay. Then, wait, where'd my webcam go? Okay. Then my upper bound is over here, and I'm going to do equals quarter three plus, open parentheses, 1.5 times my IQR. <clears throat> Apparently it wants to autofill. Okay. My lower bound is 13. Do I have any pieces of data in that area? Not lower than 13. And do I have anything above my upper bound, above 19.508? Do we have anything? No. Okay. So do I have any outliers in my cars data set? Okay, cool. But I did have an outlier in the car, cats outlier, in the cats part. Well, let's see. I had an outlier over here. This one matches with this data, or it's not perfect. The first one goes with this one. So these are both together. And what are we gonna do with them? We're gonna delete that set together because this one was my outlier at 73. So what you, okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to present your data. You're going to have a scatter plot. Then you're going to run an outlier test. After you have, if you have outliers, you're going to represent your data, redo the scatter plot, and then do your mathematical processes. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Thank you, everyone.